Welcome to another episode of Two Chairs, One Technology, our Roland Schwartz video blog on interesting aspects around LT and LT Advanced. My name is Andreas Rösler and I'm joined today by Jeremy Klein, one of our sales engineers. Welcome, Jeremy, to the show. Thank you. Um, actually, the weather is not that good today, so it's not always sunny. And uh, the item of interest is actually behind us. So in the past episodes, we talked about a lot of things um, on LTE device testing, MIMO, over the air. And that's actually kind of topic that we also will focus on today. Um, Jeremy, what tool you brought us? So today I brought the FSH handheld spectrum analyzer from Roden Schwartz. I also brought an HE300 directional antenna. And these two pieces together are going to allow me to make LTE demodulation measurements over the air. To a base station, I guess. Yes, to a base station. OK, could you walk us through the settings? Absolutely, I can show you a few things. OK, so the first thing I'm going to do is preset the instrument to wipe out the settings. I'm going to switch over to the digital modulation analyzer mode of the FSH. So you can see we support different technologies such as CDMA, EVDO. In this case, I'm going to select LTE FDD. And I've landed in one of our result displays called the result summary screen. And up at the top of the screen, you'll find our global settings of the FSH. In the top left, you see the center frequency is set to 4 gigahertz. I'm going to go ahead and change that to 751 megahertz because I know that's an LTE signal we can sync on. It's 10 megahertz wide. As you can see, the FSH was able to sync on the base station. And in the middle part of the screen in the bottom, you can see the LTE measurements. We've got some common ones such as RF channel power, overall error vector magnitude, carrier frequency error, and then also traffic activity to get an idea of what's going on with the LTE tower. I'll show some other result displays such as the spectrum overview, switch like that. This one's nice to have because this is the equivalent of switching the FSH over to the spectrum mode, but this is actually built into the demodulation part of the instrument. <coughs> as you can see on the screen, we can have a visual representation of the LTE BART head as well as some onboard measurements such as RF channel power and power within the span. I'll move to the constellation diagram display. Here what we can see is the different types of modulation that are going on over the air. As you can see on the left side of the screen, this is color coded. So looking at what we have live here, I can tell that this is QPSK. And the closer the dots are in each quadrant, I know it's a cleaner RF environment. That's what we would expect to see. Now as the modulation scheme changes, say you see yellow dots, you know that 64 QAM is active. That means that there's not as much traffic activity. On the right side of the screen, you also have some onboard measurements, such as RF channel power, overall EVM, and again, the cell identity. Let's move to the resource allocations display. I'm going to go ahead and press level adjust here to massage the front end of the FSH. Now it's going to sync onto the base station again. And once it's completed that, this is going to be a display of the resource blocks across the 10 subframes used for the LTE signal. This is useful to see where the traffic is actually originating from. Again, on the right side, we have our measurements on the screen for channel power, EVM, and cell identity. This is kind of nice to see just to get an idea of what's going on. Lastly, I'll show you the BTS scanner. And in this view, very simple, we just show cell IDs to figure out which towers are in the area and broadcasting LTE. In this case, I see 362. Sometimes another sector may pop up as 361 or 360. This is expected. And if I see another tower such as, say, 78, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, that may be my first line of defense to figure out maybe we have some interference going on. So the FSH is a really good tool to do demodulation over the air, and these are just a few of the tools that the FSH is capable of. Well, Jeremy, thank you very much for the nice explanations on the FSH and how to use it for uh, over-the-air testing. Thank um, you for having me. No problem. Um, thanks for watching. Two Chairs, One Technology, a Roden Schwartz video blog on LT and LT Advance.